All right, here we are. Use substitution. Uh, it gets a lot of hate, so I thought I'd throw a couple examples together just to kind of give you a feel for what use substitution is all about. <clears throat> uh, use substitution is a type of integration strategy that sometimes works, and that's one reason why it's a little bit frustrating. The hardest part about it is you kind of having to decide, is this a problem where I can actually use use substitution? Usually it comes up when you're looking at a uh, integral that has kind of multiple functions involved. You know, in this, this green integral we have e to the x, and we have a radical with an argument inside the radical. Um, and the big thing you have to look for is if the functions that are being combined are related by a derivative the problem is eligible for u substitution. Meaning, um, if I kind of think of this inside piece as a function, the derivative of the inside kind of pops out here on the, the outside of the radical. And if you have that relationship, uh, you got a pretty good shot that u substitution might be the method for you. So let's uh, see how it works. If I, uh, if I let u equal this inside function, and then I take the uh, derivative with respect to x of that inside function, I get uh, negative e to the x. The constant becomes 0. And then I can rewrite du as negative e to the x dx by moving that dx over. And then the thing you want to see is that, you know, this e to the x dx shows up here. And what we're going to do with the substitution part is we're going to rewrite our integral. And a couple things, I can always pull out a constant. And if I rearrange just a little bit to, to clear up what we're looking at, you know, I have this 19 minus e to the x. And then uh, I have an extra e to the x with a dx. And what I want you to see is that the substitution here is this right here is this du that we defined. Uh, excuse me, there's actually going to be a negative du here because this negative, if I uh, move it over to the other side, I need to have a negative. And I have a radical with a u in it. And the negative du, you can think of as just a constant, a negative 1, and so I can actually factor that out also. And the big thing here is uh, I've taken a relatively intimidating integral and I've substituted in some clever values to turn this into a uh, pretty tame integral. When I say tame, I mean that you can just apply a power rule to it. Um, remember, square root, any radical you can write as a power. And when I actually take the antiderivative of this with the power rule, plus c here, uh, I've taken the derivative, uh, excuse me, the antiderivative. I've got a negative 10 thirds uh, u to the 3 halves. But our uh, original integral, everything was in terms of x. And so the very last part here is you have to uh, remember that you have a value for u, which was e19 uh, minus e to the x. And we need to put that value back into our uh, antiderivative and replace our u with the original. And that is...
the final answer. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to keep these videos short, so I'll do the uh, second example in the next video.